So one of the things about working with clients, businesses and clients, is that there is a sort of trust factor, okay? Um, I am hiring you to do something because I trust that you can get it done. Um, and that's part of the whole consumer funnel, that's part of the whole idea of marketing and selling, is that you've worked with this consumer to such a degree that they now trust you enough that they are going to buy, all right? And in almost all cases, it's, it, once you get to the trust phase, everything can start to you know, really congeal and become golden, and you can start to really kind of build a great relationship. However, sometimes it goes south. Um, and when it does, it's, it can be some problems, all right? Um, so let's find out today what happens when we consider a consumer who constantly questions everything you do. All right, we'll see you back after the break. Howard here, and welcome to Consider This. And this is a show where we kind of look at the moral, ethical issues and challenges that small home and solopreneur businesses face. Uh, I don't know if we can solve anything, but we can certainly have a dialogue, we can have a conversation, um, people can kind of share their experiences because I'm sure they're problems that we've all faced in our businesses. Um, and sometimes it's nice to see how other people may have solved these problems. Uh, one of the things that I want you to remember with all of the things on Consider This is that there are no right answers, there are no wrong answers, there are just answers, okay? So uh, what my answer would, how I would deal with the situation or how I would react in this certain situation is exclusive and only to me because it, it taps into my background, my experience, my business. There, there's so much that can go into it. So I don't want you to feel like, well, that's not my answer so it must be wrong. There are no right answers, there are no wrong answers. There are only answers and experiences. And from them, we can take ideas that we can kind of see that universally people are experiencing, all right? And again, as always, the idea is I wanna start a conversation. Let's just start talking about some of these things that people don't really talk about. Okay, so you you have a consumer that comes into your business and they start a project with you. And you know, for every business, it could be different. You know, um, maybe, you know, if you're, um, you know me if you know me at all you know tacos is gonna be tacos is coming up at some point we got to phrase that better taco discussion will be had at some point in one of my videos um say you're a taco maybe you're gonna do a catering event um maybe if you're um a nail salon you're gonna do a bridal party whatever it is you, there's we all have projects that sometimes require us not just an immediate individual customer in front of us, it could be a bigger kind of event thing. Um, and so you talk to the customer, you agree on a price, uh, you agree on the timeline, all of that things. And then um, about halfway through the project, whatever that might be, um, the consumer, let, let, let's be kind here, let's, you know, cause I, I don't wanna blame consumers, the, the, you know, I, I'm, the customer is not always right, but the customer is not always wrong either. And I don't want consumers to feel like that, that I'm always bashing on them. Um, but in this case, we are now. <laughs> so um, halfway through the project, the consumer calls you up and they start questioning everything. Well, you know, I know we talked about two weeks, but I was just being nice. I really needed it in a week. Um, I know we said two grand, but that's really too expensive. I really need it for, you know, a thousand dollars. I know we said this and, but I, you know, um, because let's be honest, people, and, we, and, and we, I've talked about this in other videos, I've, I've done it, you know, when I've gone to talk to, to businesses or I've been a consumer in a business um, where I've pulled my punches, I've been a little shy, I'm like, I don't wanna upset them, I wanna be respectful. Um, and then afterwards, as I said, there's a kind of a buyer's remorse. You're like, I should have really, no, you know, I, I said two weeks, but oh, damn, that's going to really screw me up. Um, so I'm not saying, you know, like we've all been there. We've all done that. We've all understand it. All right. And so the question then becomes, what do you do? What do you do in this situation? Okay, they're questioning everything, they're moving up the timeline, they're belittling, um, 
you know, I, and I'll, I'll give a, and, and, and I'll give my response over on Patreon, but just as a little preview, you know, um, I, I was in this, and, and all, most of these come from situations that I tell <laughs> as a designer and freelancer. Um, I had gotten to a project with a person, same thing, they, they, they didn't want to offend me, so they gave me all of these things, acquiesced to all of these things that they didn't really want to acquiesce to. Um, but the number one issue um, that came up, not only was it were they always questioning me, uh, and not only were they always, um, you know, this is too much, that's too much, it's not fast enough, too fast. You know, like, it was never too fast. So I'll get you that, it was never too fast. Um, one of the, the, whenever I'd see their phone, the phone ring and, and their name pop up, I would pick up the phone and their way of addressing the issue, and, and maybe it was a valid issue, um, but the way they broached the issue made it invalid, okay? Let me, let me explain. So I would pick up the phone and I would hear, <sighs> I don't know why we hired you. And then the problem would come out. And that became an issue. I'm like, okay, I can deal with criticism. I can deal with critique. I can deal with feedback. You are not presenting it to me in a way that makes it feel like, it was just, it was very aggressive and things. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about it over on Patreon, but yeah, it, 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 that situation is where it came from this. And so you will always have those consumers that, that have regrets and they make, you know, wish they could change things. Now, before you answer, before you give us your answer, I want you to consider a few things. Option number one you have, all right? Think about this. And, and again, none of these answers are right. None of these solutions are correct. They are simply, I'm just throwing you things out there because I want, I want you to start developing thinking. I want you to start kind of really, really honing that creative problem solving that you all have. Um, you just can you, you just, I'm gonna hunker down and I'm gonna get it done. I don't care, it's a, it's a, it's a pride thing. I'm not gonna give up. Um, you, you do, you acquiesce to everything that they say, you take the hit on the cost, you be, you, you know, you move up the schedule. So you end up working like, you know, four, you pull four all nighters or something like that. Um, you get the project done, but in the end, what do you have? You've taken a loss, you've lost time and energy, you've lost sleep. Um, you didn't make any money on this and you gave somebody something and I don't, I don't want to say that they didn't earn it. I don't want to say they didn't earn it. Um, they didn't deserve it. Okay. They didn't deserve it because they didn't treat you in a way or they didn't uh, approach the problem in a way that was deserving of grace. All right, so that, that's one thing to consider when you're moving, you know, that's an option. You can, you can move forward with the project. Option number two is you walk away and you kick him to the curb. You're like, you know what? No, I'm not doing this. I'm not, we agreed to this. You know, we signed a, and hopefully if, if you don't sign contracts, get contracts. Um, even if it's a one page contract that says, I will do this, you will do that. It, you know, it does, yeah. Um, it will save your ass. Um, you know, we have this, 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 all right? Um, now, the downsides to that is, okay, now you've got a pissed off consumer who is uh, now, not only are they um, behind the ball anyway, but now you've really put them behind the ball. Okay, so now that they've got, they're angry at you for, um, things before this and now they're going to really be pissed because now you've put them in a super bad position. However, they don't see the karma. They don't see the... <laughs> Okay, I get it. I get it. You know, like they, they don't see that. So there, there's that aspect of it. Um, you lose all the money that you've put into it, to the, the, the time and the money and the effort that you've put into it, okay? Um, if you're in an industry like me, and, and almost all of us, you know, like if, if you're gonna do some of these bigger projects, you know, you've purchased resources, ingredients, materials, um, you've lined up, you know, subcontractors and vendors. Um, you know, when part of when, when I was doing design stuff, you know, I'd get to ask to do an event, you know, like, can you design all the signage, et cetera, et cetera, for this event? Um, and 
there was a lot that went into it. I had to spec out paper. I had to, you know, find printers and, you know, not just regular printers, but I had to find large scale printers that could print bigger things. that could print posters. Like there was a lot of things and there were a lot of phone calls that the consumer didn't see behind the scenes. Okay. Um, so if I walk away now, I've put them on the, like, no, they, the ripple effect is now they may have, okay, well, Hey man, you know, we know, uh, EH is going to have this big project and, uh, it's going to be last minute. We, we told him, you know, cause we have a great experience with him. He's a great guy. We're, we'll, we'll print late Friday night for him. You know, we usually don't, but for him we'll do it cause we'll get it done. Like, you know what I'm saying is there's all of these things that kind of happen, you know, you've purchased, you know, um, 10,000, you know, beads from Amazon to make this thing that's going to go for this event, you know? Um, so there's that aspect of it. Um, a sub aspect of those two, a, another thing to consider is, um, you could go back and say to your vendors, all right, you know, Joe came to me and said, you know, I need it two weeks early. I need it at this price, etc. Can you help me out in any way? Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm one to not tend to do that uh, unless I absolutely have to. If, and, and if I'm given a really good reason. Okay. So for example, if it's a super fan, I would definitely do it. All right. Like if one of my super fans wanted it, I'd be like, Okay, but at that point, I think my sub vendors and subcontractors would have known who that client was and would have been willing to help. You know, just a new stranger out the door uh, that has promises of new business wasn't the what was needed to move the needle. Um, so there's that. Um, now your third option, your third option, and again, this third option <laughs> is your best defense. It is the thing that will, you know, in a lot of ways has, you know, PYA um, myself and a number of number of times. Um, and what does it require? Say it with me. A contract. <laughs> uh, you stick to your guns. You stick to your guns. And you're like, mm -mm. we agreed on, you know, November 15th, you know, 2019 at this date and this time you signed here what I'm going to do. You said you were okay with two weeks. You were okay with this price. That, 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 that. You signed this and you said these things to me. If you couldn't or didn't want to stand behind those things, then you shouldn't sign the contract. You know, even if it's a one page contract, even if it's like a paragraph that says, you know, Beth will pay, you know, Beth will pay Joe, you know, $2,500 for everything connected to, you know, like, I would be more specific about it and, and we'll do a video. Uh, there's a video going to be on Patreon about, you know, making sure you get these things covered like contracts and things. Um, but that is the one where, you know, where most people, you know, if, if you're really savvy, you've, you've got it. And if, you know, here's the thing, um, no matter what happens in option three, like if you stick to your guns and they decide to screw you and walk away, well, A, you can sue them. Um, it's it's a hard road. I've been down it. It's a hard, hard road. Um, but you have that option. That, that fear could keep them in line. Um, now, the problem with sticking to your guns and them leaving is then options one and two become also become a problem. Okay, so you're out money, you're out time, your energy, you're out... Um, with your vendors, your subcontractors, that kind of thing. So that's, again, ripple effects. All right, so those are your three options. Those are all the things that you could do. There are probably more, and I would love to hear in the comments below what, if you've been in this situation, what has happened, um, how you've resolved it, how you dealt with it, um, what you did to, um, I don't want to say fix the problem, um, but deal with the challenges that we were facing, you're facing here. Um, again, there's no wrong answers. There's no right answers. It's very specific to you. You're the consumer that's calling everything else that's surrounding the thing. So there, there is no one single right answer. All right. Um, as always, leave your answers below. I'd love to hear them. If you want to hear more about uh, how I would solve the situation um, and get into a deeper conversation with some of the members 
of the Patreon community, bop on over and join us at Patreon. Um, there you can see other videos, you can download worksheets, um, more vo robust and vibrant discussions. Um, as always, you can follow me on social media. I'm literally E.H. Howard everywhere. Um, we'll be doing the week, uh, can consider this videos on a pretty regular basis. Um, I'm shooting for once a week. Uh, those will be uh, exclusive to YouTube. So while you're there, also hit like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to visit um, the e the Small Business Talk Show, uh, A Few Moments with E.H. Howard, which kind of talk about just general things about um, small home and telepreneur businesses. Uh, bop on over to Facebook and join us over there for the Two Minute Challenge, which is a little bit more creative and blue sky uh, fun challenges <laughs> than, uh, uh, consider this, which is a little bit more uh, deep thinking. You know, we got to put your thinking cap on for these. Um, all right. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye. I appreciate y'all. Bye.